to this week's weekly three and three. This week we're going to focus on that midsection of yours. Proper lifting patterns, torso training, and also intra-abdominal fat. This week we're going to be covering metabolism, but most importantly, intra-abdominal visceral adipose tissue. This is that hard fat that you see. We see it in many men where we hear people say, well, he's got a beer belly. That beer belly is actually fat surrounding your organs, and that's what puts you at such a high risk for coronary heart disease. This is fatty liver. Again, there's fat being pressed around all of the organs. So these are the people that when you pinch their belly, you really can't pinch that much, it's hard. And that's a problem, because the fat that's directly up under your skin, while it's a health risk, it's a very little health risk. The fat that is surrounding your organs, that is pressing on them, that is slowing down their function. That's what puts you at a high risk of coronary heart disease. In the upcoming weeks, we're going to be covering how to get rid of that intra-abdominal visceral adipose tissue. Thank you. For this week's exercise tip, I'm gonna talk about torso training, specific for the abdominals. First of all, the first thing to remember and the most important thing, no more crunches for your abs, okay? It's too dangerous for your spine, no more crunches for the abs, we're gonna go into just remember, your spine is happiest when it's at its neutral position, okay? So we're gonna get the same Swiss ball that you used to do, Swiss ball crunches on, the crunches are gone. We're gonna go into the plank position like so, nose over the thumbs, everything's stable. If this is too easy for you, we can roll the elbows out, roll them back. Roll the elbows out and roll them back. And that's really gonna challenge your abdominals, stabilize your spine, and get you abs of steel. This week we're going to be speaking of lifestyle and everyday lifting, everyday movements. Now of course we want all of you to lose the maximum amount of fat possible and doing so in a very intelligent manner. But outside of Diverge Fitness I want you to think about how you pick up things, how you move. Many of our clients have children, grandchildren. If you're walking around you're keeping that child on one hip all of the time, you're picking up things off the ground repeatedly in the same movement pattern, you're very likely to injure yourself. So make sure anytime you're picking things up, you're lifting with the legs, bending down, keeping the spine in a straight manner, always fighting for that neutral position, picking up things properly. If you injure yourself, you're not able to work out as strenuously at Diverge, and therefore you're inhibiting fat loss. Please, move yourself properly. Thank you for joining us this week for Diverge Fitness's weekly three and three. Please tune in next week for more exciting tips.